all right based on your request i'm gonna show you guys how to edit youtube intro hook like this and this was inspired by voice editing style so in this tutorial i'll be showing you how to edit my style and then later on towards the end i'll be showing you guys how to edit voice style so make sure you stick to the end all right guys let's get started so first of all let's set the project settings go to modify we can change the name then aspect ratio we can choose 16 by 9 then with the frame rate i'm going to use 24 frames per second i shot in 24 frames and on this side we're going to leave it at stay in original location if you want to see a video on how to send your files to another person you can check on this card i already made a video on that then we can go to performance select proxy and click on save and with this tutorial i'm going to use this raw video i'm going to play and show you guys this this is the most all right all right so you can see from this video i had some bad takes and also some silences i don't want in the final video so in this video i'll be using an ai tool called glink ai that's going to help me cut out all the silences and also the bad takes and they happen to be the sponsor of today's video more on that later on so this is glink ai tool we're going to select the vid the raw video drag and drop on this side then on this side we can change the name on this side we're going to select the language you were speaking in the video i was speaking english so i'll select english then click on continue then this side i'm going to select only this tool you can select jump cut and remove audio noise if you want it to do for you i will be doing this in cup cut so i'm going to leave it just like that then click on enhance and edit and whilst we wait for it to upload i realize majority of you out here are not subscribed to this channel so please if you find something helpful from this don't forget to subscribe so now it's done uploading and you can see on this side all the gray that selected that's the bad takes and also the silences in the video from here i don't want the cut to be showing so i'm just going to turn it off and it's going to show me the final edit so from here i can play and check if it got it right so you can see from the beginning i don't want it to be showing i want only this side to be showing so from this i can use the script itself to delete those parts so i'm going to click on this scissors icon and it's going to delete that very line and when you look in the timeline it's going to cut that off too also you can just select the words that you don't want it to be showing then you can click on this scissors icon and it's going to delete that part in the timeline now when i play and show you guys what we have this is the most requested video on this channel and i think it's about time i make that video all right guys let's get started so you can see i had some bad takes in there and also the silence it did really good job with that so imagine if it was one hour video i was editing this is going to save me lots of time so from here I can go straight to export then on this side if you're using Final Cut Pro Adobe and Resolve you can choose XML file but since I'll be using CapCut I'm going to choose MP4 then I'm going to save it in the finder or folder I've created then you can drag and drop the video into CapCut and check this out you get to use one project with all the pro features for free but guess what I managed to get you guys additional one project for free using all the pro features by using the link in the description box below glink ai is the simplest and the most easiest app i've ever used and with this it was built for youtubers now let me show you other great features that comes with glink ai it comes with smart captions to add captions to your videos you can remove noise from your audio if your audio of that video is noisy jump cut zoom you can activate it also script based edit that you can use to cut out the bad takes and silences as you saw in the earlier example and if the final cut feels so fast for you you can slow the pace down by stretching the beginning and the ending of the clip glink ai works seamlessly with final cut pro premiere pro and davinci resolve and one thing i like about this app is it saves you time allowing you to be creative without taking away your creativity if you're interested in checking glink ai tool just click in the link in the description box below thank you glink ai so now i'll drag the video in the timeline the beginning i want the match cut test effect to show so i'm gonna bring in one background go to stock material bring in this background in the timeline 
and I'm gonna keep the length as it is. You can see it, click on this drop down menu, you can see it under background. I've already added it to my favorite. Then let's go back to device. With this grid line, I'm gonna use this grid line, just drag and drop in the timeline. And with this, you can use any texture to give you that look you are going for. And I'm gonna be providing you guys with all the materials, link will be down there below. With that selected, go to the right side, opacity i'm gonna take it to somewhere 20 percent let me bring this down a bit so we can see now i'm gonna bring in a news article that i screenshot online drag and drop in the timeline so with that selected go to the right side on mode i'm gonna change it to multiply and it's only gonna show the text so i'm gonna start with the first words that i was saying when i play and show you guys this is the most requested so i was saying this is this will end somewhere here so i'm gonna cut b to make a cut then press a to bring the select tool out then i'm gonna move it on this side then with this one selected i'm gonna increase the size of it a bit more so i can go to somewhere 300 for now and you can see I have the word this on this side, but I want it to be right in the center. So with this, we're gonna bring in the vertical line, drag and drop in the timeline. This is gonna guide us to place it in the center. With that selected, I wanna change the color of it so it's gonna pop and I can see it well in the timeline. I just use adjustment basic and then I turn the temperature to the yellow side or to the warm side. Now click on the news article and let's place it right in the center. And with this, I want it to be really big in the timeline so I can go to somewhere, let's go to video and take it to somewhere 500. Then with that one selected, let's make a duplicate of that. Press option and drag upwards. Then with the top one selected, and one thing I forgot, let me show you guys. Let's click anywhere in the timeline. Don't select anything. Then click on modify and make sure you turn on arrange layers. It's gonna help us a lot. Then click on save. So whenever we place a file in a layer, it's gonna stay right there. Now let me just select the top one, go to the right side, and then I'm gonna select default to take it back to default color. Then I'm gonna go to mask, and select rectangle now it's too big so we can really see it let me click on this and make it very small so i can see the mask now i'm just going to reduce it bring it down so i can really select only the word this let's go back to normal then on feather i'm going to take it to somewhere too then go to adjustment let's turn the white down so we can darken that side a bit more scroll up let's go to curves and let's bring the middle side down a bit more to really make it dark now i think with a grid line we can go down a bit on this side so just select the grid line go to video click on basic let's take it to 15 percent on opacity so this very word is going to really pop out now click on the top one let's change the size of it to 800 or 850 so we're gonna really make that big. Now I can drag it up. Now I'm gonna do with the next word that was S. So I think it starts on this side. I'm gonna make a duplicate of this. Press option and drag to this side. With that selected, I'm gonna search for S. So I can just scroll up and look for it. I think it was somewhere at the top. So this is it. I'm gonna place it in the middle of the frame. Then I'm gonna make a duplicate of that. Press option and drag upwards. Just like we did earlier on, let's turn the blend mode to default. Then go to adjustment, the curves, let's bring it down a bit. Go to basic and turn the white down. Then let's go to video and let's work on the mask. But before then, let's turn the scale size down a bit more. And let's, in fact, let's just reduce it to the normal size so we can see exactly where it is. It's at the top here, so I can just drag it here and start working with the mask. Click on mask, select rectangle. Because when we leave it just like that, it's gonna disappear. So I'm just gonna do it this way to select the ace and then I'll work with the size. So something like this, then I can go to basic, increase the size a bit, bring it down. 
increase it more, bring it down. And now let me take it to somewhere 700 and bring it down. So it's gonna make my life easy. So now I think I can go for 850 now. It's gonna stay in the timeline. Then let's go back to mask and work on it to select only the word is. Then we'll go to feather, increase it to two, go to basic and let's drag it on top of the word is. Now I'm gonna continue with the rest of the two words just like we did and I'm gonna be fast on that side. Now I have it all ready. I'm gonna play and show you guys how it looks like. This is the most requested video. So I can delete this now. I'm not gonna use it. Let me stretch this one a bit. From here, I can delete this guideline. I'm not gonna need it now. Then go to effect. You can search it on this side, but I'm gonna use this effect already in my favorites drag and drop on top of this ones so you can see it gives us that look chromatic i think i can go to somewhere 51 or 52 i don't want it to be that much and then with the blur you can choose how you want it to look like with this tutorial i think i can go to somewhere 20. so when i said most requested video i'm gonna bring in let's go to import i was using one video that i got from motion array this one I'm gonna drag and drop in the timeline. Let me drop on top of it. So with that one, I want it to come in when I was saying requested. So somewhere here, let's drag it to that side. With that selected, let's trim this side off. So with that one selected, go to animation and we're gonna use the basic slide up animation. And I think I can go to somewhere 8.8 .8 seconds. And I want it to look a bit fading in when it's coming up. So with that, I'm gonna take my playhead to the beginning of it, go to video, make a keyframe on opacity and take it to zero. Then let's go to somewhere here and turn it to 100%. And automatically it's gonna create a keyframe on opacity since we've dropped first one on that. So now I'm gonna bring in requested, the text requested, go to the left side, drag default text in the timeline. Let's take it to somewhere here and select that. Now let's delete this and type in requested. I'm gonna go for D dot. Now we can search for the font that we're looking for. That's really a good update from CapCut. So I'm gonna go for D dot, then select it from this side. And I want it to be bold. So I'm gonna bring it and put it right when this guy was holding this poster board. Let me just place it on that side. So I think with this tutorial, I'm gonna change the color of it. So let me go to yellow. Let's go to animation and let's select slide down for that. So with this, you can select some cool animations on this side, but I just wanna make it simple. So I'm gonna select slide down and then I can go for eight seconds. So now I'll play and show you guys what we have. This is the most requested video on this channel. Now let's check out voice style. So with voice style, he was focusing on one word. So I'm gonna use this very word. I don't wanna pronounce that word. YouTube can be very tricky. Let me go to import and click on devices. So these are screenshots I took from articles that has the same word. And we're gonna start with the background. So this is a paper texture. You can get that from pexels.com. I'll leave a link down there below. It's free on pexels.com. So it has this random animation with a paper texture. And the speed is too fast for my liking. So I'm gonna go to speed and slow it down to somewhere 0.3. Then I'm gonna make a cut somewhere here and delete this side. Let's bring in this guideline. It's gonna help us. Let's drop it in the timeline. Then go to adjustment. Let me take it to the warm side so I can see in the timeline. So with Vostal, he usually places it on this side or on this side. But with this, I'm gonna place it closer to the middle side because of the chrome effect we'll be using later on. With the chrome effect on CapCut, we cannot adjust the position of it. So this is gonna make our life easy. So with that, I'm gonna bring in the first article word. Let me just drag and drop in the timeline. And with that selected, go to video, blend mode, let's take it to multiply so we can take the white off. Then I want that word to be on this very line and also I want it to fit exactly this box. So to make even more accurate, let me make a duplicate of this, drag upwards. This just 
something I just want to do. So I'm just going to bring it to the top. So all the article words that I'll be using, this very word is going to stay in this box. Click on the article and place it really in that box. With this, I want it to stay somewhere 15 frames or 20 frames. So I'm just going to select that. Take my playhead to the first frame. Press shift and arrow forward to jump 10 frames. So I'm going to go two times and trim this side off. Now I'm going to bring in the next article, bring this, drag and drop in the timeline. Just like we did previously, let's take it to multiply, drag it upwards so we can put that word in this very box. Let me increase it a bit more. Select 20 frames of that tool and trim that side off. Then I'm going to bring in one more, drag and drop on this side. Now I'm going to bring in one more and this is important. Let's drag that in the timeline. With that selected, go to multiply. Let's move and place the word in that box. And this time around with this, we just want it to stay somewhere three to five frames. So I'm going to take my playhead to the starting of it and go five frames forward. Then I can just delete this side. And now I'm going to bring in somewhere five to six times and I will use the same format as we did with this and I'll be fast on that side. So now I'm done so I can delete this guideline. I don't need it now. With Voss, he has this highlighted color on this test. So we're gonna do the same thing. Go to test. Let's drag in the full test in the timeline. Let's drag it and make it the same length as this one. With that selected, go to the right side, delete that and type in dash. Let's change the color to yellow or whatever color you wanna use to highlight this very thing. Then scroll down. Scale, let's turn off uniform scale so we can increase the width and the height of it individually. So when it ends on this side, you can use the arrow to increase it more. Now I'm gonna bring it on top of it. I think with the height, I can increase it a bit more. With that done, let's turn this to a video format. So we're just gonna option G to turn into a compound clip. Then let's play and go forward and see how it looks like. It looks like we can really increase the size of it. So with that selected, let's still work on it. I could have done it before turning into compound clip, but I can still use the same format, go to uniform scale, and let's increase the height of it a bit more. Now with that done, let's go to blend and change it to multiply. So it's gonna highlight that very word. So now when you play and look at it, and then from here, it's gonna go fast. So if you really want this side to be fast, you can change the duration to somewhere three frames. So now go to effect, bring in chrome blur, let's drag and drop on this one and let's stretch it to make it the same length so now you know you see why we wanted it to be close to the middle or if possible to the middle because on cap cuts we cannot change the direction of this very clone blur it would have been nice if they added that so we can place it somewhere here then with the chromatic i can go to 52 and the blur i can increase it a bit so now when i play and show you guys what we have Thanks once again to the guys from Glink AI for sponsoring this video. Now if you want to know how to edit like pro YouTubers, you can check on this playlist. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace!